Hello, my darlings. My name is Victoria, and this is Veritas Tarot. Uh, I'm going to do your daily mini reading for you, uh, and I am using my new uh, Energy and Spirit Oracle for you. It's a beautiful deck, um, and it's I think that's a it looks like a lotus flower on the back, but it's an absolutely beautiful deck. And then I'll just see what else Spirit wants me to pull uh, for clarification of the card or cards that come out for you. If the reading resonates, it's simply you remembering in divine timing what you already know within your soul. And if it doesn't resonate, my darling, it simply means it wasn't for you at this time. As ever, I am so grateful for all of your comments that you are giving me. Thank you so, so much. And if you do resonate with the reading, uh, please do continue to comment, like, share and hit the subscribe button. It is simply a lovely exchange of energy between us and if you would like a personal reading with me all of the details are in the description box below i haven't yet uh completed the rest of your uh star sign readings for this time i've been very busy with personal readings uh but tomorrow i have uh made sure i've got a clear day so i will be continuing with the star sign readings tomorrow so thank you for your patience and i think as i said yesterday uh, leo is my next one that i am doing so let's move forward with the reading and see what wants to come out for you thank you spirit they want to jump thank you go so you've got uh sensitivity and strength uh tapping the forces within there we are sensitivity and strength tapping the forces within and on the bottom of the deck you have got creation soul expression something new for you so let's talk about uh let's move these out of the way um and I'm also seeing underneath creation, angel of the seven chakras, power, truth and connection. So I do feel for many of you that if you haven't uh, had Reiki or you feel like you need Reiki at this time, please do think about it. The extraordinary thing about our chakras, they are energy centers within us. OK, and when they're all working beautifully it helps us shift our vibration, but sometimes we can get stuck energy there and it's energy that we don't know is there, but it's stuck, it's like sticky glue. Um, and so having Reiki can help uh, just get those energy wheels moving again. Um, and uh, I will put in the description box for you, and I, it's there already if you're seeing this reading, um, details of an amazing Reiki master, Reiki teacher, Reiki healer, um psychic called nicola graham ikigaitherapy.com and i highly 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 recommend her she's an angel um and sent to help us so i'll put the details for her website in there for you but that was just a little aside that spirit uh, caught me so let's look at this sensitivity and strength card first of all tapping the forces within so this is calling for you at this time sensitivity and strength uh, tapping the forces within this is calling on you if there's a situation at this time that is asking for your attention and something that might be problematic for you you're looking for a solution for it um, this situation that you're thinking about at this time is calling for sensitivity it's calling for gentleness it's calling for a different approach than maybe what you have been giving with it so spirit wants you at this moment in time to take a step back and start to um, and however long that step back takes for you, but start to step into that place of non thinking about it, because when we're in the thinking mind, we tend to be in the ego mind and the ego mind tends to react. It doesn't respond when we're in the place of detachment and awareness of what our mind is thinking, then we become in a place of consciousness and we we allow ourselves when we start to move from thinking to awareness to shift into divine source wisdom and that's when the responses come to you um so it's and i and i'm kind of getting with this card as well let me just show you again uh you've got here uh tapping the forces within so i always say at the beginning of my readings uh i am tuned in and tapped on so this this is a time for you to say, Spirit, I am tuned in and tapped on. I'm ready to receive the answers I'm meant to receive at this time to help me deal with this situation, this person with sensitivity and with uh, gentleness. Now, 
again, when we speak from the ego, the conditioned mind, the conditioned reactions to have to things, the other person will speak from the ego. Ego meets ego. Ego fights ego. There is no listening to understand that is happening. But when we speak from the soul and soul talks to soul, soul listens to soul, seeds are grown uh, within that space, seeds that allow evolution to happen seeds that grow things shifts and changes that are meant to happen and you end up being able to give soul gifts to the other i'm what's coming to my mind at this time because the feather represents spiritual messages that are coming to you that beautiful light delicate um peaceful sensitive way of speaking that the other will hear and understand and Weirdly enough, what's coming to me because of sensitivity and because actually there is great strength in being sensitive and, and being willing to uh, change to that harmonious approach is the elephant. Um, um, maybe it's because I had a love universe moment with an elephant gift yesterday. But think about the elephant. The elephant is known for its strength. It is also known for its loyalty. It is known for its kindness. It is known for its ability to remember. And that is also forgiveness, isn't it? It's remembering without anger. And the elephant doesn't use its strength to overpower people. It uses its strength to stop other people overpowering it. So have a think, have a feel around the situation from a place of detachment, a place of awareness. And first of all, ask the question, what is this soul gift to me? What is this situation helping me to do? And what could I potentially be helping this other one to do? And even in that moment of deciding to make a, cho a choice to change to her an harmonious approach to this, a beautiful soul approach to this, you are shifting your vibration. And when you're shifting your vibration, it then means that the other person's uh, vibration is changed because of you there is a response energetic response to that remember that we tend to put out our vibration tends to admit well it always does emits an energy and if you're in a place of anger or frustration that is the energy that the other person will pick up but when you choose to look to approach this from a place of understanding sensitivity compassion the understanding that everybody is 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 dealing with life the best possible way they can from their level of consciousness then you change your energy to a, a, an harmonious energy and you start to give out uh, an energy of love and of understanding you start to receive clarity words are more fluid because you're well, very fluid because you're speaking from the soul you are not letting your ego get in the way you are flexible in your approach you are balanced in your approach you are listening to understand not just to reply and it feels really really good and so what is happening is that as you are choosing to speak in this way you are receiving yourself the gifts the gifts of the soul you are resonating with what you are saying and you are feeling it and in the feeling of it and the relief of it you feel the peace and you're making a shift within yourself so this is a gift to you as much as it is a gift to them for you to handle this situation with sensitivity um and and real gentleness because there is you can you know because of this um just turn this card over because of this uh kind of thing here you could pound this but you can't control it you can't force this into a shape or into something that you want it to be remember that everybody is exactly where they're meant to be in their life and that means that what they're feeling they're meant to be feeling what they're feeling as are you so it is with respect for that situation respect for your situation respect for theirs that you come into a place of listening to understand what it is that you're meant to receive as this, as well as listening to understand why they are feeling the way that they are feeling. Um, and tapping the forces within, remember that, tuned in and tapped on. I am tuned in and tapped on, and I am ready to receive whatever it is I'm meant to receive to help me bring insight and clarity and sensitivity and strength, the elephant strength, 
and gentleness to this situation. And then you come into a place of such empowerment and awareness that you will not be so easily offended because you understand you are speaking the universe's truth. You are speaking God's truth. You are speaking your truth in the words that you are saying. And then you've got this wonderful creation card on the bottom of the day. You know, I love to talk about creation. Soul expression, something new. And what this immediately says to me, I feel for a lot of you, this is a sort of family, could be children situation because of the daisies. But soul expression, something new. In the moment of your soul expression with sensitivity and strength, you make a shift. You make a shift from a negative vibration stuck energy there to liberated energy. And this is that soul express expression. So in this, in the moment that you allow your soul to express itself with love, with understanding, with clarity, with fluidity, fluidity, with balance, with the willingness to understand, your soul's expression sets forth a liberated energy from yourself. And that is something new. So that something new needs is going to go somewhere energy doesn't die it just gets transformed so in the moment that you resolve this in terms of coming to peace with this situation and knowing that you can't force your will upon anybody and everybody's exactly where they're meant to be but there's a soul gift within the situation for you and with that release and understanding you are then in a beautiful energetic space to create something from this there's a shift within you to create so what it is whatever it is my darling at the moment that you're looking to do then is the time to do to do this because you are liberating this energy and she's pouring water on these flowers and water represents emotions so whatever emotions you freed up you are now going to look to nurture whatever new idea new project new new thing that you're looking to do remember your creation we were created to create and your creative expression is your soul's voice it is your soul's expression as well so plant the seeds plant the seeds and look after them nurture them tend to them you know she's watering this as well uh, and they will come in to blossom for you and so this is a beautiful beautiful reading so uh what am i going to pull and do you know what i think i'm going to pull the same cards as i did yesterday because i love these the, the power animal oracle and see what wants to come out for straight <laughs> that flew out um well that one wants to come out Oh my goodness. Okay, so authenticity, the wolf. Okay, you've got authenticity. When we speak from our soul, when we speak that truth, we are being authentic. There may be some truths that spirit is asking you to speak and to not fear speaking them as well. And also when we, when we, <clears throat> This situation could be calling you also to speak your truth and to slightly move away um, if this is if this is a, a friend's thing as opposed to a family thing as well. Um, it is your energy. OK, so two of the most valuable things are our time and energy. OK, and when we get caught up in things or situations that make us anxious or people that make us anxious or groups that make us anxious we're giving away our energy and 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 it makes us feel that way doesn't it so spirit is saying that that sometimes people around us are not necessarily the soul tribe and what you want to be doing is if you're stepping into that place and you're feeling anxious, you're vibrating at a lower energy. So be your authentic self, speak your truth. And then kind of the wolf, the wolf here is incredibly protective of its space. But also do you see here, you've got the sort of the water here, the man in the water in the emotions. Don't fear, don't fear then um, both protecting your space and choosing to keep a distance from those people. Don't fear that because it is necessary at this time for you. What else wants to come out for you? Thank you, Spirit. Because, you know, when, when people are meant to leave our lives, let them go. And, uh, and it means that those that are meant to come into your life will come into your life. So there's, there's quite a few messages here, but I just want to do one more. Thank you, Spirit. 
Um, I'm not very good am I, at keeping a short, sharp reading, but let's just do one more message. Thank you, Spirit. Of course, the owl, the wisdom card. So Spirit is saying this is, um, the owl is obviously seen as, as a sign of great wisdom. And the owl is saying that you might not necessarily be seeing the whole truth at this time. There is just part of the truth that you're seeing. And it is maybe because that is what you are choosing to see. But in listening to understand, you may see more of the wider truth, the big picture, like the owl has peripheral vision. So be open to that wisdom, be open to that learning, um, see it as a way of, uh, if you seek it, you will receive, because in the seeking of it, you are making a choice to embrace change, to harmonize the situation, harmonize the energy between you, and then let it go and release it. So uh, this is a, a, a really big, as I said, a, a really lovely shift for you in terms of your soul remembering things and you shifting into a really strong place of awareness of what an extraordinary gift this has been for you to uh, remember things, to release a lot of conditioned hurts and responses um, uh, within you. And what you then have is this lovely, lovely, lovely um, card of creation here. And here it is. So this card of creation here. So this card is that as you liberate the energy, it's then you're going to be really able to focus on something that you've been wanting to do for a while. And it's a really good chance, a really good opportunity for you to do it. So my darlings, I hope that has helped those that this reading has resonated with. I will be back tomorrow to do you another daily mini reading. And then I will also, as I said, be looking to do uh, maybe another couple of the star sign readings tomorrow, maybe more if I'm able to. But in the meantime, take care and so much love. Bye bye.